Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We've got more news coming in. Thank you for being part of the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video. We appreciate everybody being here. Make sure that you leave a prayer request in the bottom. Now, the last update that they're doing says Wagner PMC owner uh, Pergozin has announced that he has turned his men around and returning his units to the battlefields of Ukraine rather than spill Russian blood, which there's a lot more going on about this, and it's a lot of speculation out there. None of this makes any sense. None of it. And I advise you to not take your eye off the ball because all this stinks. It stinked from last night to the night. This is going to be bad eventually. Something's going to come out of this. It's not going to go away. Everybody's like, yay, but I'm telling you, something isn't right. And I don't know if you're feeling it, but I, I've said it last night. Something is not right. There's a reason why we kept dreaming about bears for two weeks straight. Something bad is happening over there, so keep your eyes on the sky. According to the Russian state media, major changes into the leadership of the Russian Ministry to Defense, including changes to the current Defense Minister uh, Shogu and Army Chief General Staff Valley, some has reportedly been agreed upon in order to stop the march of the Wagner Group towards the capital of Moscow. These negotiations have been reportedly included that assured the security of the Wagner Group. These negotiations are also reported to have included uh, stipulations that the majority of the Wagner PMC forces will be redeployed out of Russia and Ukraine to Africa. Okay, this is coming in. Wagner mutiny was very likely staged, is what everybody's saying. And everybody was saying it last night. Fallout, uh, rebellion provided cover for the fast military movement and uh, numerous air defense units and thousands of troops reaching western borders of Russia, particularly unnoticed as everyone was focused on the insurgency without mutiny pretext, such massive movements would have been seen and mainly linked directly to the Ukraine very quickly. If uh, it says here, Russia already did some serious prepares, uh, prepare, uh, Preparations to protect its capital with roadblocks and checkpoints rise. Uh, I think Russia is about to blow heavy strikes on Kiev and its forces, if not even further. It's all protective measures related to the mutiny. We've done actually a pr protective measures if NATO will decide to intervene. So, a lot of people say NATO was in on this and... There's a lot of rumors going back and forth every which way. Nobody, like I said, it's all rumor. Nobody really knows. But we all know something ain't right over there. Something crazy is going on. And we know the Antichrist guy's hands are all in this mess. See what war news, what they have. Now, there's also a refueler, air refueler, flying over Washington. Now, if everything was all hunky-dory, that wouldn't be taking place. But it's been flying over Washington for hours now. When you have a refueler flying over Washington, that means they've got a lot of fighters. So definitely a lot of stuff going on. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else. I know that Med Medadev definitely had something out that he was talking about earlier. Yeah. Dmitry Medadev. See, the largest arsenal of nuclear weapons will will never come under control of a gang. The world will reach the brink of destruction. This is their vice president. If you want to, he used to be the president before Putin. The Russian authorities will not allow the events to develop according to such scenarios, said the deputy chairman, security counselor of the Russian Federation, Medvedev. Let's see. Never in the history of mankind has the largest arsenal of nuclear weapons been controlled by gangs. Such a crisis will obviously be Limited to one country, the world will reach the brink of destruction, he told reporters, answering the questions about the assessment of the situation. We will never allow events to develop according to such a scenario, no matter how crazy criminals and their fans would like it. We will not allow the Wagner Rebellion to develop into a coup or a global crisis. So that's coming in from Dimitri. Let's see what else we got here. Now, Moscow is still on high alert, even though they're saying that this thing's been resolved. So, there's definitely something going on. 
reminds me of what Paul was talking about. And he said, when they say peace and it calms down, then something bad will happen. It says, Putin's powerful after the, the coup. He sends Bogosian into exile, or did he? And Wagner dissolves. He clears the fifth something. The president of Russia, Putin, emerges powerful 24 hours after the coup attempt, attempted by the leader of the Wagner group. Bogosian is in exile to Belarus. Why would you go to Belarus? See, that's another thing. That's pretty much pro-Russian. You wouldn't go there. You would go somewhere else if you was being exiled. See, none of it makes any sense. Something is definitely wrong. But himself guaranteed his safety as he travels to Minsk. At the same time, Wagner will be recognized effectively distur uh, disbanded uh, as of July 1st and will sign a contract to come under the Russian military of defense. A little while ago, the representative of the Kremlin said the criminal prosecution of the ultimate treason against Prigozhin has been dropped. Prigozhin will immediately leave for Belarus. None of that makes any sense. The unconditional surrender of the forces of Wagner and their disposal of the fate of the strong man of the company. Prigozhin, in his hands of the Russian President Putin, marks the end of the mutiny listed uh, 24 hours ago. Putin comes out stronger as a result. Oh, boy, I tell you, none of it makes any sense. He will clear the fifth... Inside Russian something, Aragon's coup in 2016, anti-terror service has already announced that he has recorded all his calls coming from uh, something in favor of the armed revolution and all these involved in the face of consequences of the law. Putin has shown Russian society that he knows he can handle a crisis. The fact that he, blood, that no blood was spilled and the movement ended almost uh, bloodlessly with him in power gives him the possibility to proceed more uh, decisions towards the West and NATO. And I'm starting to think all of that was engineered by somebody. It's been engineered by somebody. Russian so uh, sources uh, say the main mistake of the Russian army in the Ukraine war was underestimating the strength of the enemy and the level of, I'm not going to say the word, YouTube won't let me say it on here, this is an obvious mistake by the Russian services of both the SVR and the FSB. Another mistake was the wrong balance of power. Ukraine had 300,000 troops, not including reserve and territorial defense forces, totaling 600,000, and Russia had 200,000 troops in the span of vast theater of military operations. Rostov Arena, we are one people, we are fighting an extreme enemy. We believe in the Russian people and our president. See, was the coup fake? That's something is going on. American intelligence service believe that Prigozhin has been planning the coup for a long time, but his goal was not clear, maybe because it was staged. Washington said everything it was about uh, shortages was a lie to tarnish the image of the Russian Defense Ministry as part of the pre-planned coup. And the question here is, was there information about a coup in Russia and was organized in advance to proceed the initial internal purchase? I'll tell you this. It's very funny that Lindsey Graham and all them come out and make their comments the night before that happens. That they're going to destroy the Russian military. Then that happens the next day. It's not coincidence. Something's going on. And they was already preparing something the day before. So them two events happened within 24 hours ago, with 24 hours within each other. Not coincidence. Not, I mean, you'd have to be an idiot to think that. <clears throat> the most important thing is the Russian president can now harden his attitude towards the West. Russia Today reported that there is a strong evidence that Prigozhin's coup is coordinated by the secret services of the United States, England, and the Middle Eastern country, which will bring Israel into it. How much you want to bet they'll bring Israel's name up in it? Let's see, finding collective waste at home, get on consumption, multiple Prigozhin with a coup was a very similar to Aragon's in 2016. Let's see, tons of videos. That's about it on that. Let's see if there's anything else that's come across. I will keep monitoring this because it stinks. 
both things stinks. I do believe there's a lot more to this than it, and I don't think it's over either. Not even close. I think this is the beginning. It's not over. Every bit of this stinks. Let's see. A bad omen for Ukraine and NATO. Shogu are disengaging. Hard nuclear hawks. Their replacements. Let's see. Well, that's what we got so far. Like I said, there's also a fuel over Washington, D.C. Been there for hours. Refueling fighters, so. They've not got any of their doomsday planes up. They're all quiet. That's the reason, because they don't want to set Russia off, because they might think that this is bigger than what they think it is. So, they're going to keep those planes on the ground right now, because this is a very delicate situation. But if they're already saying that the United States, Britain, and some Middle Eastern country had a hand in this, you know what that's going to mean. So definitely keep your eyes up on the sky because this, like I said, this ain't over. Don't think everybody's going to come on there and say, oh, it's fine, it's done. It is not. Like I said, I've told you for months, it's only going to get worse there. It's not going to get better. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. We've all been seeing the bears. God's warning us. Keep our eyes up on the sky. Because Jesus is coming. He's coming very soon. World War III is just starting to get going. And it's not going to stop. It's going to keep growing and growing and growing. This is already going to be, it's already, they've already made up their mind. They're not turning back. Okay? I told you that months ago. They're not turning back. It's only going to get worse. That's why I tell you, just keep your eyes on the sky. Save as many people as you can. And get ready to go home because we're getting ready to leave this place. Thank God before all this junk happens. I love each and every one of you. Make sure you put your prayer requests in the bottom. If we have any more updates, I will come on and I'll be, I'm watching pretty much every news article that's coming across. Anything else. Now remember, I've had storms here back and forth. So if you don't see or hear from me, my internet's been real choppy today. I had a time getting the first video to upload. Now remember also, now tomorrow and Monday, we're supposed to get tornadoes and everything here so tomorrow could be really bad for here and monday so i might not have power after the day depends on how these storms are going i'm praying they miss me and go somewhere else or they just don't they just die out but tomorrow and the monday is definitely going to be rough but our internet right now is so slow from all the storms we've had it took me almost an hour to upload last time so i love each and every one of you thank you for being here thank you for being part of the channel Get as many people on the ark as possible. Do not take your eyes off the ball. This is not over. It's only beginning. I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven.